Oh man, I'm behind. I know it. My life sucks. Wait a second. Is that a pimple? Damn it. I don't know if I should be happy or sad. Sad that I have a date tomorrow. Or happy that at my age, I'm still producing essential oils. Oh, wait a second. Hello, folks. Welcome back. For I'm the one, the only. I am a hobo Tom. You know what? It is a red wine and pizza Friday. Pizza's gone. Cheers, though. And I want to start about about my age or my body actually doing bodily things. That's kind of weird. But major announcement. Oh my goodness. It's been reported. I've seen it from at least three sources. Three. That's like almost professional journalism. Vince McMahon has retired at age 77. Bravo, Vince. Enjoy your golden years here in the luxurious state of Florida where there is no income tax. Um, yeah. Some people said within the wrestling world, hey, the only reason why Vince McMahon leaves is because Vince McMahon dies. But no. He chose to retire. I wonder if it was because of all the scandals or everything else. But that's just actually just one of the major news items. Um, the other thing I have to talk about. Yes, I know I'm behind on my videos. They're in a book somewhere. That's what happens when you get girlfriends and when you work. Talk about wrestling. Be with attractive woman. Yeah. Wrestling woman. Yeah. There's a the thing. That I've been doing, that, that I've been seeing a lot more live shows. I'd rather give you guys out there in YouTube something more live content versus my, I guess, hot takes on stuff. And then, of course, work pays. YouTube doesn't pay. When YouTube pays, it's a whole, whole other story. Until then, though, again, I got into a discussion with that with a lady friend of mine. Yeah, if like if I could, trust me, if I could get monetized. Um, as I told my other lady friend, I'm in a state of semi-retirement. I do do scoring for Pearson. Eventually, in in August, I might find either a full-time job that that would, that would be a real career, or like a part-time job to hold me through the next scoring season. And then I'm a scorer, and I work at the racetrack. And actually, the racetrack has paid off really well. I think this year, I'm for the few events they have at the Speedway, $2,500. It's a chunk of change. And then scoring-wise, starting from March? At minimum, it's been a thousand dollars a month. I have no outstanding payments. I have my own house. I mean, I have bills and stuff, but as long as I don't go out on spending splurges or have my lady friends go out and buy stuff, that's a whole other issue. But I'm more than well than I'm as I stuff money down their brazier. And up their panty string. Yeah. Trust me, guys. You want to make your woman happy? Stuff $100 down her bra and say, Honey, I'm taking you shopping. That's a whole other issue. That was the major announcement.
part one. Part two will be coming up shortly. But again, as you can tell by the graphic, I'm here to talk about the Ring of Honor and Death Before Dishonor. Um, they've added a few more matches, so I'm kind of glad I held off on it. Uh, let's start off with kind of like the what the undercard is going to be. Um, I'm going on a date. And again, do I want to stay home and watch pro wrestling, get fat and get drunk? Or do I want to go see hot, attractive woman and maybe get laid? Yeah. She has all the priorities right now. It's a whole, yeah. Maybe if Vince McMahon retires. I don't know. She buys me a boat. Will I retire? From YouTube? That's tempting. Woman friend buying me boat. YouTube. YouTube wrestling show. I don't know. Only time will tell. Um, I'm just happy to go out, socialize, feel like a human being for a change versus being stuck in my office. God, reading some of the worst writing ever. My boss said, how can you give this a two? And I said, you know what? The past 50 papers I saw were such garbage. Oh, some of it's bad. Again, my role at the companies I work with, which I'm not mentioning, mainly is to keep them out of potentially my class. Like, if you can't formulate a basic sentence or make wrong sentences, I really don't want to be teaching you at a college level. That's bad. That was one of the things when I scored the SAT. It's like, yeah, it's like, pff, you're not getting in my class. You get a low mark. Enough about what I do. I know what you guys care about. You guys care about wrestling. And fine women's asses. I'll get to that later. Um, but starting off, I have no idea what order these matches are going to be in. We have Roosh versus Dragon Lee. Only because he's just been introduced to AEW. No one... Uh, Dragon Lee's a big name in New Japan. But Roosh is going to push in the States. I'll say Roosh wins. Then we have the righteous man, Vincent. Someone else, someone else, with, with a manager, with a valet. Fine ass valet. I'll say. Versus Dalton Castle and the boys for the Ring of Honor uh, six man tag team champions or the trios champions, whatever they call them. You know what? I don't see Dalton and the boys winning. The rights that are going to keep those belts. This is kind of a throwaway match. Um, then we have Allison King. Allison K. I'm sorry. Taking on Willow Nightingale. Only because she's getting semi pushed in Impact. Allison K. Still in the NWA and Ring of Honor. Allison K doing the job to Willow Nightingale makes more sense. Willow Nightingale's wins. But you know what? If I were you guys, I'd take a nap. Then we have Mercedes Martinez versus Serena Deeb for the ROH Women's Championship. I don't know. Mercedes Martinez has it right now. Serena Deep's so good. And they could do this on AEW TV. And that is a whole other issue. Um, I'll say Serena Deep wins. Then we have Wheeler Yuta versus Daniel Garcia. 
You know what, folks? This is my stone cold lock of the night. Will Yuta's going to retain the Pure Wrestling Championship? I don't see him. I don't see, well, I don't see Will Yuta with a belt. I don't see Daniel Garcia taking that belt from him, though. I mean, maybe if Tony Khan wanted to do something really screwy. But the last couple of hardcore matches were not necessarily good. The War Games might as well have been match in the AEW. It was okay. It was a good beginning until Moxley came in and brought in all of the Japanese death death match implements. Again, broken glass. I'm like, you know what? There are so many ways. I don't care if it's sugar glass. There are so many ways you can hurt yourself on just broken glass. Like, I've cut my foot open. Not realized that it was cut open, but I'm like, why are there, why is there blood? Why is my cat looking at my blood behind me on the tile floor? And then I realized that I broke a glass in the kitchen, swept it outside, and it got caught in the mat the wrong way. And it just started, it just got cut and bleed. I'm like, AEW, and that barbed wire match was terrible. Um, honestly, the last barbed wire match I somewhat enjoyed was the Terry Funk versus Sabu barbed wire match. And even then, I'm like, holy shit, this is real. I can see Sabu's muscle. He legit tore himself open. Ugh. Ugh. That was the first and last time I saw a legitimate barbed wire ropes match. And the fact that they didn't have some ropes barbed wire off. And this is the ECW arena, so all four sides have barbed wire where, like, literally the ropes are. And then barbed wire kind of cross hatch supporting the barbed wire. So it just wasn't barbed wire, like, wrapped around the ropes. This was... Legit barbed wire, like, wound through the turnbuckle bolts. And, yeah. And, and you saw Sabu, and it's like... And then Aubrey started to get, like, wire cutters out. And I'm like, dude, you know how to do this. And, I, I don't know, it was just weird. Maybe not bloody enough. I mean, again, Terry Funk versus Sabu. That was a bloody mess. You're like, yeah, barbed wire match? That looks about right. Chris Jericho versus Eddie Kingston? I'm like, eh. Looks like every other hardcore match they have. Um, so, yeah, whatever. Where was I? Oh, yeah. And that, that's the next match. Samoa Joe. Versus... Da, 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 da. Jay Lethal. Da, 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 da. For the TV title? I don't know. I haven't seen Samoa Joe enough. Every so often on Rampage, they show Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal will give the belt more exposure. And for Ric Flair's last, last match, to have Jay Lethal come as champ, and I don't even know what's going to happen during the match. I'm going to make a prediction for it. I might even watch it. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that'll be weird. I say Jay Lethal's going to win that match, though. And then, finally, we get to actually a kind of a real wrestling match, where you have um, FTR versus the Briscoes. And a two out of three falls match. This is my match of the night.
I have FCR winning. Um, I don't see them getting the giving the belts up yet. In fact, in the future, I see them getting all four belts. And by the way, those AAA belts look cheap. I mean, they just look literally like t-shirt material with like silk screening put on it. It looked, they look awful. It just looks cheap. And then we have Claudio Castagnoli. This is our own. Taking on Jonathan Gershom for the Ring of Honor Heavyweight Championship. See, this is where I can see Claudio winning. Jonathan Gershom has appeared on TV so irregularly. It makes the Ring of Honor Heavyweight Championship look irrelevant. Claudio Castagnoli. Again, he has history in Ring of Honor. He's been in WWE. I mean, I could see him somewhat being a Grand Slam champion. I mean, he did hold the WWE Tag Team Belts. He would have held... No, he never held anything in AEW, though. I mean, they just don't do any... I don't... Claudio, only because I do, I can appreciate Cesaro as a pro, res, pro wrestler. Jonathan Grissom's, um, even though he's the octopus and I think engaged to and or married to Jordan Grace, it was kind of a little schneid there after our remarks about uh, a certain Chris Benoit. Um, I don't know. I'll say Claudio Casanoli's. It would make for better AEW TV. And if you really want to get Ring of Honor back on a mainstream cable network, if you can say, hey, this person has been on this TNT channel, hey, can we be on your... your... God, I hate to say it. Uh, like Velocity Channel. Or Axe. Um, Pop. I don't even know if Pop's a TV channel anymore. I don't have TV. I just watch Comet TV. Um, Charge TV. And Court TV. Court TV was fun for the... Um, Johnny Depp trial. Charge has the CSIs on it. And Comet has the best science fiction show ever made. Sorry, Dan. It's not Star Trek. It's actually Farscape. Farscape's actually the best. Killjoys is number two. Um, Star Trek's number three. Defiance four. Dark Matter five. Then you get into like Babylon five, Andromeda, and a whole bunch of other oddens. I think Red Dwarf might be like ten on my list. But yeah. A whole other issue. Um, but yeah, Claudio wins. I don't know, he wins the winning Ring of Honor Championship. Who knows? And now, already, second major announcement. This guy, Hobo Tom. Before he goes on his date, I have said camera charging up. I have, oh, let's see here. you know what, I'll do this right now, the notebook, the hobo notes, will be ready, let's see, old notes, there they go, hobo notebook is ready, the pen, the pen of power, is attached to said notebook, so I will not forget to take notes during matches. They say, oh my god, are you someone important? I say, um, I have a YouTube channel. A couple hundred followers. Talk about pro wrestling. And I'll be like, yeah, here's a chair. Yeah, notebook's ready. Camera's charging up. Um, it's going to be a riot wrestling. This guy, Hobo Tom.
going to be at the Volusia Mall um, for Riot Wrestling. Hopefully it's a little bit better than some outlaw indie mud show garbage. Um, maybe I'm just there to get close-ups of women's heinies and boobas and glorified bikinis and swimwear. Because I was thinking to myself as I was going to the gym today, I'm like, you know what? I remember the great Moolah and Wendy Richter wrestling and literally bathing suits before they got all like spangly and glittery and like glued on. But yeah. But yeah. Other than that, that's my predictions for Ring of Honor stuff. To thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. This video is going up definitely um, Friday morning-ish. Or Saturday morning-ish. Because this is going to get edited and processed pretty quickly. So, yeah. And I forgot my music. I've I had so many warnings about my music. Um, eventually... Saturday I might have to... Saturday I might have to make a bunch of videos. That's the way it goes sometimes. Actually... Some to this side. There we go. I will show you guys a little bit of Riot Wrestling. Probably Sunday morning-ish. Um, afternoon, evening-ish. All depends if I get laid. Yeah. If the snoo snoo goes on at her house. Pff, you guys are out of luck. But yeah. To thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later and... I will be putting up videos because work is getting ultimately boring and the two supervisors are now arguing amongst themselves. It's always funny when the assistant supervisor says, no, it should be this. And the supervisor says, no, it's this. And you're just there like, okay, I'll, talk, I'll see you later. Bye.